So welcome back to another episode, my friends. I'm bringing you a bonus episode every Friday for the month of August and September. These are on location interviews that I did while I was at the National Health Association Conference in June. And so I'm introducing you every Friday to a new guest, a new individual um, that I got to interview uh, at the NHA conference. So I hope that you enjoy these conversations. They're very short. I filmed them on location. I didn't use a mic. I was just inspired to see why people went to the conference and what they were getting out of it. And I hope that you enjoy. This is the Healthy Lifestyle Solutions Podcast, and I'm your host, Maya Acosta. If you're willing to go with me, together we can discover how simple lifestyle choices can help improve our quality of life and increase our longevity in a good way. Let's get started. So we're here at the National Health Association's 75th, the annual conference, but they're celebrating 75 years. And you're here with me right now, Dr. Akhil Taher. And um, it's an honor to meet you in person because you were already on the podcast. So I know you're also going to be speaking. Uh, be but before we get to that, I would love for you to tell us what inspired you to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and how has it impacted your overall health and well-being? Okay, before that, let me tell you, Maya, that uh, this is myself. I have turned 75 years this year, so it is in common with the energy. Oh, wow! We're both 75 years. That's okay. number one. Number two, people change for different reasons, whole food, plant-based. My wife and daughter became plant-based uh, 40 years back because of animal rights. Some people do it for environmental reasons. I did it for health. And the reason, initially I had a lot of problems. But when I started realizing my cholesterol going down, my diverticulitis and the back burner, and I was not having any sinus infections, I said, oh boy, there's something here. And so I, the, the whole food plant base is an overall, so much of fiber and fruits and vegetables and whole grains and nuts and seeds. It encompasses everything, all the nutrition, macronutrients, micronutrients. So initially I had problems. Uh, the biggest problem I had was peer pressure because people tend to tell you that Oh, come on, don't show off. Why are you doing this? Let's go. Come on, once in a way, if you break your blessing, it is okay. But it is not okay. It is not okay. But have I failed? Yes. I am not one of those people who goes cold turkey. I start off slow. I take one item and replace it with a whole food plant-based item. And I take the second item. And the hardest thing for me was to give up fish. I just could not do it and I have fallen so many times but I got up, Branson said this, if you fall flat on your face you're always moving forward <laughs> so you get up and go again right. and that's what I've done you know, for plant based. So and now you're, let's just add, you are a doctor like I said initially, what does it mean for you being here as one time having been a patient and you're a physician? Surrounded by most of the participants or attendees that are here are people that are interested in making this lifestyle change for their health. So we're not necessarily around a lot of healthcare providers at this conference. What does it mean to you for you to be here? It, it, it means, you see, I'm not, I wear three hats. Mm -hmm. I wear a hat of a physician, but I'm a research and physician trying to prevent and treat the underlying cause of the disease. Mm -hmm. but the second hat is the most important because I'm a heart disease survivor. And so people around here who've got heart disease, they can, I can understand them better and they can approach me because I've been in their shoes. I can empathize, not sympathize, empathize with them because I have heart disease. And don't forget, I'm a septuagenarian athlete too. That's true. <laughs> Endurance athlete. That means there are a lot of people around here. I was shocked that there were about 20 people on the hard hike wow. on Friday, and there were about six children. Wow. 
whatnot. From ages of three to seven, eight. Right. So to me, this is fascinating. But whole food, plant-based diet. <coughs> Everybody to go on board, or for most of us to go on board, it is going to take time. We That's don't right. have time. Because the idea is that we fought the cigarette industry for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And this is not cigarette industry, this is much more. And we don't really have time because people are dying. Yeah. I came to this country when I never saw a diabetic or a heart patient before the age of 45, 50. Mm -hmm. Now I'm seeing them at 25, 30. So to me, it is very important to come to a conference like this, a like-minded people that teach you so many things, you learn so many things, you give back so many things. And the only thing I felt was the food. It's superb. I wish somebody would cook for me that kind of food every day. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I, I cannot, I mean, affording means the time factor is such that nobody can cook this way. So this is a kind of a luxury. It is. But when you go back, I want people to learn to live with just basics. And especially older people. Yeah. So that is more important to me. But I met some fascinating people over here and they have got life, sto life stories to tell too. Yeah. So and you know, Dr. Tehar, you're going on pretty soon to share your testimonial uh, as a heart patient. You spoke before the conference and you sold out. You brought a, a, a certain amount of books that you recently published, uh, your open heart book, sold out. So what can we look forward to? Because I am going to sit in when you share your testimonial. Um, what can people expect? My testimonial will be more so that adventure may hurt you, but monotony will kill you. And when I say adventure, I don't mean people climbing mountains or going on uh, marathons. Mm -hmm. What I am saying is live outside your comfort zone. So adventure becomes a metaphor, yeah. meaning that you start in the COVID era, I took up uh, cooking and I took up gardening. People can take up playing mahjong, learn how to play bridge. Mm -hmm. This is outside your comfort zone. It okay. makes life really interesting. Yeah. So that's why I believe and remember one other thing. Adversity can be your best friend or your worst enemy. After they put stents in me, for the five years were horrendous. It was my worst enemy. And after I got my bypass surgery, adversity became my best friend. There were things that I could never thought of doing, but adversity made those things come out. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for being such an inspiration and for sharing your story. And I'm going to be sitting in watching you. So good luck on your talk today. No Thank problem. you, Dr. No You've problem. been listening to the Healthy Lifestyle Solutions podcast with your host, Maya Acosta. If you've enjoyed this content, please share with one friend who can benefit. You can also leave us a five-star review at ratethispodcast.com forward slash HLS. This helps us to spread our message. As always, thank you for being a listener.